In this video, I'm going to go ahead and give you the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center. Discuss September 2021 visa bulletin for family based categories and give you the latest update on how the U.S. embassies are planning to reduce the backlogs so you could get your immigrant visa interview. So stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Eater's Corner. My name is Eater. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button right underneath this video and be part of this amazing channel. On this channel, I give lots of updates on the USCIS, the National Visa Center, and the US embassies. Plus, I give lots of tips on how you could have a successful immigration process. So don't miss out. Make sure that you subscribe right now and be part of this channel. You will not regret it. To my new and returning subscribers, thank you and welcome. Now let's go ahead and get straight to the video. Here is the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center. As of September 7, 2021, the National Visa Center stated that they are working on cases received from the USCIS on August 25, 2021. They are reviewing documents submitted to them on June 29, 2021. And lastly, they are responding to inquiries received on August 15, 2021. In conclusion, in terms of receiving case from the USCIS, they are two weeks behind. For reviewing documents, they are two months behind. And in terms of responding to inquiries, they are three weeks behind. Now let's go ahead and take a look at September 2021 Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories. As we can see, August and September 2021 Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories are exactly alike. There are absolutely no movement across the board for all categories. The Visa Bulletin for Family-Based Categories has been like that since June 2021. Two reasons why there are no movements for family-based categories. And that can be they have reached the cap for the amount of visas to be given for the fiscal year or period. And there are currently 500,000 immigrant visa applicants currently awaiting an interview. And the only way to give out those interviews to the applicants who are awaiting right now is to start the availability of visas. Now, if your priority date is current or earlier than the date provided on this visa bulletin, then you need to go ahead and reach out to the National Visa Center immediately so you can start paying the fees and process your visa application. If you do not know what to do, go ahead and shoot me an email or you could set up a consultation with me. The visa bulletin only pertains to applicants who are not currently documentally qualified. So if you're currently documentally qualified, does not pertain to you. It only pertains to people who are not documentally qualified and their case is currently with the USCIS and transitioning to the National Visa Center. Now, if you do not know what is a priority date, your priority date is when you submitted your I-130 petition. They will usually send you a letter that they received it and that letter will have a receive date, which is also your priority date. I know that September 2021 visa bulletin 
was again disappointing because there were no movements but i am hopeful that in the next coming months that we will see some type of movements so let's keep our fingers crossed now let's go ahead and take a look at how the u.s embassies and consulates are prioritizing cases so you could get your immigrant visa interview on august 30th 2021 the department of state put out a statement to clarify how the u.s embassies and consulates are prioritizing immigrant visa applications the u.s embassies and consulates are currently using a terror approach to triage immigrant visa applicants based on the category of immigrant visa as they resume and expand processing. The TR system basically lists the main categories of immigrant visas in priority order. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the TR system. The TR system basically lists the main categories of immigrant visas in priority order. In tier one, we have immediate relative inter-country adoption visas, age out cases, cases where applicants will soon no longer qualify due to the age, certain special immigrant visas, SQ and SI for Afghan and Iraqi nationals working with the US government and emergency cases as determined on a case by case basis. In tier two, we have immediate relative visas, fiance visas, and returning resident visas. In tier three, we have family preference immigrant visas which is most of you guys are there and se special immigrant visas for certain employees of the u.s government abroad and lastly in tier four all other immigrant visas including employment preference and diversity visas the department of state also went ahead and stated that many embassies and consulates continue to have a significant backlog of all categories of immigrant visas. This prioritization plan instructs posts to maximize their limited resources to accommodate as many immediate relative and fiancé cases as possible with a goal of at a minimum, preventing the backlog from growing in these categories and hopefully reducing it. However, the prioritization plan also instructs posts to schedule and adjudicate some cases in tier three and tier four each month. The department recognizes that visa applicants particularly those in tier three and four will face continued delays. They acknowledge that certain programs, including the diversity visa program, operate on a fiscal year basis as required by law. The department values the diversity visa program and is making every effort to process as many diversity visa cases as possible consistent with other priorities despite the severe operational constraints and backlog resulting from the covid pandemic however as a result of covid the number of visas issued in lower priority preference categories are in such programs as the diversity visa program likely will not 
approach the statutory ceiling in fiscal year 2021. So basically for the diversity visa program, although they honor this program, they will not be able to give out as much visas in this category for 2021. Furthermore, the Department of State went ahead and clarified guidance on emergency cases. They stated that recognizing the emergence of COVID Delta variant and the continued demand for healthcare professionals during the pandemic, U.S. embassies and consulates were instructed that they may prioritize as emergencies on a case-by-case -case basis. The immigrant visa cases of certain healthcare professionals who will work at a facility engaged in pandemic response. Healthcare professionals who will work at a facility engage in pandemic response and have an approved U.S. immigrant visa petition with a current priority date for an immediate relative, family preference, or employment-based preference, case may review the website of their nearest U.S. embassy or consulate for procedures to request an emergency visa appointment. If the case is being processed at the National Visa Center, the applicant may request expedited processing by emailing mvcexpedite at state.gov. You must include the case or receipt number on the subject line along with one of the following. The petitioner's name and date of birth beneficiary name and date of birth and our invoice ID number. Applicants should be prepared to show that they will be employed in the healthcare industry at a U.S. facility engaged in pandemic response. Resource constraints and local government restrictions may limit the ability of U.S. embassies and consulates to process emergency visas at this time. So basically these statements tells us that, for instance, if you file for a relative and they are currently working in the healthcare industry, for instance, a doctor or a nurse, they can't expedite the immigrant visa application due to the demand of healthcare professionals in the US. So this is great news for those who are currently in the health field and they would like to come to the U.S. immediately, they could use their career title to expedite their case. The Department of State wants you to know that petitioners and applicants in the immigrant visa process are more than just numbers. They acknowledge the stress and hardship that were caused by the COVID-19 pandemic and prior travel restrictions. They recognize the importance of each immigrant visa category and they are working steadfast to get you your immigrant visa interview. So this is the last statement from the National Visa Center. I will be keeping you guys updated on this and also, I will be doing a video on what cases some U.S. embassies are working on. So please look out for that and subscribe. I hope each one of you enjoyed this video and I pray that it was beneficial to you. If you have any questions or video suggestions, make sure that you comment down below, send me an email. Or you could schedule a 30 minute consultation with me if your case is sensitive. Continue to be vigilant, consistent, and prayerful. And remember, everything will happen in God's timing. Make sure that you share this video, give it a thumbs up, 
and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you for watching Edith's Corner and I'll see you next time. Bye now.